If you're looking for a £30,000 SUV, there's no shortage of fine tow cars to choose from. Does the Nissan X-Trail do enough to stand out? And should you choose one over the likes of the Honda CR-V or the Volkswagen Tiguan? Well, to find out, we're going to hitch up to this Coachman Vision Extra 450 with a mass in running order of just over 1,200 kilograms. And we're going to head out onto the road to really find out how well the X-Trail tows. Nissan offers buyers a choice of three engines, a 1.6 litre petrol, a 1.6 diesel and a 2 litre diesel. We're testing the 1.6 diesel four-wheel drive. It has a curb weight of 1,655 kilograms, including 75 kilos for the driver. With 236 pounds-feet of torque, the engine pulls well for a 1.6 but with a car of this size and weight and a caravan behind it, acceleration is steady. The X-Trail will pull up to 60 miles per hour on the motorway, but it takes its time doing so. The payoff for modest straight line speed is good economy. The car achieves 52.3 mpg on the NEDC combined cycle, and we've seen 31.3 mpg while towing. That's with the car in two-wheel drive mode, Power goes to all four wheels with a twist of a switch, handy for hill starts or when pulling away from a muddy pitch. In terms of stability, the X-Trail mostly tows straight and true. However, when the wind picks up or when overtaking a high-sided vehicle, there are some side-to-side -side movements. It's not as stable or secure as a Mazda CX-5, for example. That said, relatively soft suspension makes for a comfortable ride with or without a caravan in tow. While it's not the quickest or most stable of SUVs, the X-Trail is certainly a practical one. Nissan offers buyers the choice of five or seven seat versions. Our test car is a five seater, which leaves plenty of space for your holiday bags, with the rear seats up or down. There's plenty of room for passengers as well as luggage, with space to stretch out in the back of the car. In the front, we found the driving position to be very comfortable, although the finish could be more upmarket given the price tag of over £30,000, and the infotainment system looks rather dated. It's a decent car, the X-Trail. The trouble is, it's up against some outstanding ones. The Mazda CX-5 is better to drive and to tow with, and the number of rivals are better value for money. A Kia Sorento, for example, is only a little more expensive, but it's much heavier and more powerful. That said, the X-Trail is still a sound choice. It has a five-star rating from Euro NCAP, plentiful standard equipment and a very practical cabin.